Xcopy is a Windows copying command that can be executed from a command prompt or from a PowerShell session. PowerShell will allow us some flexibility to use variables in our command, making it easier to change in the future should the need arise. To get started, first we need to specify our source folder and our destination folder. Now that we have these two variables populated, we can begin customizing Xcopy's command syntax, which will determine how the command will behave while copying files and folders. We can tell Xcopy not to stop if it runs into an error using forward slash C. If we want to include empty folders, we need only specify the forward slash E syntax. We also want to include any hidden files, and we can do that using forward slash H. To keep file attributes from the source location after they've been copied to destination, we need to use forward slash K. If we don't need to see any information about the files as they're copied, we can quiet the output with forward slash Q. If we have read-only files that we want to move to the destination, we can do that using forward slash R. To copy all files and folders, we need forward slash S. We want to make sure that ownership and audit settings are copied from the source to the destination using forward slash x. And if we don't want prompted to overwrite each and every file that already exists in our destination, we can do that using forward slash y. Our command is now ready to copy files from our source to our destination folder. Now let's check some of the directories to make sure that all the files got moved. First we'll check it in our test folder 01 and compare that to our test folder 02. Let's use PowerShell to compare the number of objects in our source location with the number of objects in our destination location. The number of files and folders in each location is exactly the same. Our Xcopy command was successful. Thank you for watching.